Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back, guys. We've been having a lot of requests on how we uh, preserve our eggs. You know, like we get abundance of eggs. Our chickens are absolutely pumping out the eggs right now. They're, I mean, they're pumping them out. Uh, we get uh, 15 to 20 dozen a week. You know, every every week we wind up 15, 20 dozen eggs. We do several different ways of preserving our eggs. We freeze them. We showed that in a video. We uh, dehydrate them. We showed that in a video. Okay, and another way that we do them is we pickle them, you know, pickled eggs and stuff like that. So we've got a bunch of requests asking how we hard boil our eggs without them tearing all two pieces. And if any of you out there know if you if you ever hard boiled a farm fresh egg, especially a brown egg, white or, white or bad too, don't get me wrong, but the brown ones are just unbearable. They fall all to pieces. Yeah, and, and when you tire the shell off of them, they just just completely just you know tear them all to pieces. And you don't want to put that into a pickle jar the the vinegar will turn cloudy looking it almost look like it's bad which is it's not but it if, contaminates yeah and a lot of people say that if you tire the white that you know you got a potential for bacteria to get into the center of the egg and, botulism and, yeah botulism to get into the egg and you know make you sick or whatever you know uh, but I, I've, I've never had that problem honestly i never have anyway these these eggs right here <clears throat> These come out of our chicken lot today, right before it got dark or earlier. The cartons we get from Walmart, they're like 52, 53 cents a piece at Walmart, and we have a bunch of those just to, you know, just to keep our eggs in. Well, We're using white eggs today, yeah. but um, the Samani eggs seem to do the best. Yeah, yeah, Samani, the like like real light tan eggs or something like that. I don't even know if we have any of those over there or not, but uh, those things, they just absolutely just, you bull them. And just pull pull them out straight out and peel them and that the shell just fall right off of those things for some odd reason i don't know but now these white white eggs right here the fresh eggs and the brown eggs now the brown eggs are the hardest uh, now they're they're yeah they're a pain in the butt to do the white eggs are too these are the freshest ones we have so we're going to do these these are the white eggs and these come from our white leghorn chickens mm -hmm. we have uh we have white leghorns we have uh, isa reds isa browns whatever you want to call them and then we have the samanis mm -hmm. right now what we have is the white eggs and we're going to do those but like i was saying we have a lot of people you know like emailing us and, and ask us questions about how we preserve our eggs and then we tell them that we pickle them they want to know how we hard bull them without them just tearing all the pieces so with that being said what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how we hard boil our eggs and uh, try to keep them as nice as possible to put them in the jar to pickle them what i want to do is just put enough water in to cover the eggs i'm only going to do a dozen eggs and what you want to do is when you put this water on here, you want to let this water come to a rolling bull. You just want to let it, you know, just come to complete bull. You don't want to put the eggs in there until it is boiling. So I'm going to let this sit here for a minute. And as soon as it starts boiling, we'll cut back and we'll show you the next step of how we do it. All right, guys, just a quick note. I have not added anything to this water other than water. I didn't put no salt, no vinegar, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. And I don't want no chemicals in my water. And as far as water... I can leave a link to it or whatever, how we do our watering system. Uh, what we do is we collect rainwater here. We don't have a well of any sort, so we live completely off rainwater. You know, it has several filters in it, and we'll show that one day. We'll, we'll do a, fil a video on the filtering system, but it comes through the filters and it comes out. And spick it. And what we do is we catch it in a jug, and then we pour it in our Berkey. All right, and it runs to our Berkey and right back into another jug, which is here. That's what this is. And that's some of the best water you could ever have. It's actually a homemade Berkey that we built. We actually have a video of it, and I can leave a link, link to that if they want. But uh, that's how we do our water here. All right, the trick to this is, okay, on the egg, you know, the big end, the large round end is where the air sac is on the egg. Okay, all you got to do is take your spoon and barely crack that egg. Barely pop it. Set a little end in it. That's all you got to do. And put it in the water. If you can see that egg right there, how it's cracked all over right there. But see, that it's still perfectly fine. All right, guys, that's a that's a dozen eggs. 
Okay, and what you do, the next step is, you wait until that comes back to a rolling bull. And once it starts boiling, I set my timer for 20 minutes. Then when that time's up, I'll show you what I do next. All right, the water's come to a bowl. So what we're gonna do, then we'll set a timer. We'll set it for 20 minutes. All right, as soon as that 20 minutes is up, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push them off the heat and then we'll start running them up, you know, the cold water over top of them. So if you had ice or something like that, if you have a, like a bowl, you can put some ice in, put some ice in. It, it actually works better that way, but the cold water is perfectly fine. That's all I ever use. But you can use ice, ice water, like, and it works pretty good that way too. But like I said, we just use cold water. So we'll show you the next step here in just a minute. All right, the timer just went off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill the heat. I'm just gonna push it off the eye for now. And I have a strainer over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the eggs in the strainer. Let's run the cold water on. But what you're wanting to do is you want to stop the, the cooking process. That's all you want to do. Run the cold water on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these things and I'm going to set them in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. I'll be back with you in just a minute. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to set them in here and let them set for you know, roughly 10 minutes, something like that. All right, it's been 10 minutes. We put, we put them in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. But you don't have to do that. You can leave them in the zinc and run cold water over them. And just all you gotta do is really just cool the egg itself. So let's see what happens. The shells just pretty much just fall off of them. She'll just roll right out of them. And like I said, these are fresh eggs. These were gathered today, right before dark. There you go. Alright guys, 12 out of 12 eggs, perfectly peeled, no tearing, no, no messing up the whites, you know, perfectly, 12 out of 12, there you have it. So basically all you gotta do is just start your water, let the water get to a good rolling bowl, hold that egg up, take a, uh, a spoon, you can even take like a little push pin, like what do you call that thing? A thumbtack. A thumbtack, and just poke a hole in the end of it, you could do that too, or, or or you could just take the spoon and just kind of just peck it right on the end on the on the air sack side and just crack the egg put it in the water and then uh after you get them all in there and it, it'll start back to a rolling bowl once it gets back to a rolling bowl you want to wait 20 minutes once it 20 minutes just take it off and just try to kill the eggs as fast as you can you can run them in the zinc under cold water or you can put them in the refrigerator like we did and you know let them set for like 10 minutes something like that and then as you can see the shells just basically just fall right off of them and these are farm fresh eggs that was gathered today right out of the hen house today right before dark all right guys if you haven't done so yet if you would please hit that like and subscribe button it won't cost you a thing it'll help us out we'll see you on the next one have a blessed day i'm watching subscribe there you go good job